And Oprah Winfrey is pouring some cold water on the whole notion of a potential presidential run for her in 2020. The TV star told InStyle magazine, quote, I don't have the DNA for it. The interview was published today, but Winfrey spoke at the magazine back in December. The chat reportedly happened three weeks before her speech at the Golden Globe set off speculation about a presidential run, so it's unclear if she's had a change of heart ever since. And could a former Massachusetts senator be considering yet another run for president? Sources tell an Israeli newspaper that former Secretary of State John Kerry told Palestinian officials he was strongly considering a run for president in 2020. So let's bring our political analyst John Keller in here now to talk about all of this. And what does the fact that these names are floating around tell us about the Democratic Party and 2020? Paula, to be honest, at this early stage, it tells us the Democrats are completely adrift when they're thinking about 2020. Now, with all due respect to Secretary Kerry, his picture should be in the dictionary next to the word retread. I thought voters made it very clear last time around they wanted someone new. No more Bushes, no more Clintons. And to some extent, I think the likes of Joe Biden and Bernie Sanders may face that same problem. They are the same old faces, and I do mean old. Again, with all due respect, that is another problem. Biden would be 78 on Inauguration Day 2020. Bernie Sanders, 79. That'd make him the oldest president ever. And President Trump is no spring chicken, but he would be 74. Four on the next inaugural day. So if you're talking younger, fresher face, who do you think the Democrats might offer? Well, there's already some buzz around the possibility of a mayor topping the ticket in 2020 with names like L.A. Mayor Eric Garcetti and Mitch Landrieu of New Orleans floating around. With so much of the Democratic base clustered in urban areas, that might make some sense. And mayors tend to be a bit more in touch with what people want and how they view Washington than federal politicians put there's never been a mayor uh, elected directly to the presidency either. What about a woman? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's a lot of people are thinking <laughs> the same thing, and that's certainly worth watching closely, especially after the way women have been tipping the scales for the Democrats in special elections last year and into the new year. New York Senator Kirsten Gillibrand got a lot of bounce out of leading the charge against sexual harassment in Congress, and our own Senator Elizabeth Warren certainly has a lot of fans nationally. But as Hillary Clinton learned to her dismay, just being a woman is no guarantee of anything. I would remind everyone, Donald Trump won 42% of the female vote nationally against Secretary Clinton, even more of a percentage in key swing states like Florida and Wisconsin. They got their work cut out for them, Paula. Yeah, women don't just vote as a block. John no. Keller, thanks so much.